नमस्कार फोडुनी शब्दाचे अंतर वस्तू दाखवे निज सार तोची गुरु माहेर अनाथांचे फिफ्टी सिक्स्थ वर्स फ्रॉम दास बोन नित्यपाठ इट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम फिफ्थ दशक सेकंड समास एंड फिफ्टींथ वर्स द मीनिंग ऑफ धिस इज द सद्गुरु हॅपन्स टू टेल अस द रिअल मिनिंग hidden inside every word and from that meaning the sadguru tries to tell us the sadguru tries to tell us how the god is and then he makes us to act like that and takes us makes us a yogi and bhakt that is the power that is the capability of sadguru tochi guru mahar mahar is a concept in uh, indian culture wherein the uh, the married woman comes to her mother and she feels ah i am very peaceful i am feeling that i am i am near god means because mother herself is god in fact because mother is mother is mother that's all okay so whenever you feel you are alone even in public whenever you are feeling that i got everything i'm billionaire i am millionaire i am the most famous i am the most powerful and still you feel you are alone it means there is you lack something and that lacking something is that you don't have sadguru even only sadguru can makes you feel that you have somebody at every moment he guides us towards god he makes us behave so that at every moment our work become worship at each heartbeat pulse beat blinking of eye thought process 24 by 7 throughout year throughout life that we have somebody who is guiding us at each moment and we are going towards god we are becoming one with the god we are becoming you know yogi bhakti at each moment that power that shakti that energy sadguru that if we don't have then Sadguru then take this Das Bodh Gita Nyaneshwari as your Sadguru and try to be like this what it has been told in this purest of the pure books pious books you can say because at the end of the day this book it is made up of suppose pages it has limitations it has some kind of life but the thought process the teaching is said is is immortal sadguru this energy the infinite god is immortal body it gets merged into infinite soul once it is buried or once it is you know burnt and all those things you know it has limitations but this energy of sadguru god it is immortal and it takes ourselves towards immortality our soul towards immortality not this body every body which has come is going to get perish but by becoming one with the god whenever our soul becomes one with the god we becomes immortal we become immortal in each word by breaking each word going inside the meaning real meaning of the word sadguru shows us how the god is and we act accordingly and we become one with the god forever whether we are alive or whether body perishes our soul becomes one with the god forever so let us try to live such a beautiful life as told by samartha ramdas dhaneshwar maharaj and all these people okay thank you very much